Welcome to my channel and welcome back to another video. Enjoy. I want to be woken up. Well, not even woken up, but I have no problem waking myself up. No problem waking myself up. And I literally had the IV vitamins yesterday, like y'all saw. And waking up has been so easy for me right now. So easy. I woke up at 4.30 this morning to help my son wake up. And a part of me feels like he needs some IV vitamins. But a part of me also feels like I want him to be the one to tell me that he needs it. Because I don't want to try to convince him to get it. You know, it's like convincing somebody to take vitamins on the regular. I can't force somebody to be healthy. <sighs> I feel like I'm going through a phase that is quickly ending. And that phase is... my son not listening i feel like that phase is coming to an end very 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 quickly because i'm just i've had i've had i've had it all the way up to here for about it and it's like i just won't accept it any longer i feel like i was trying to be so nice and i was trying not to upset him and like be so kind and stuff like that but I don't know if it's the vitamins that brought some clarity to my mind. Probably more than likely is. But now I'm feeling like in order to break a bad habit, sometimes a intense reaction or response or even communication is needed. Like I was literally screaming this morning. Not screaming like a pier like a piercing scream, but like a you're going to hear this bass in my voice and I'm elevating my voice so you can hear what I'm saying because whatever thoughts that you're listening to right now are not correct type of thing. And I don't feel bad about anything that I said this morning. I I feel like I'm making it known to my son when he's, when, like, as a human, stupid things are to come, but it's like, I wish somebody would have told me, hey, you're acting stupid right now, or you're doing something stupid, or you're thinking something that's not logical. And that's not calling myself, or that's not even saying, hey, you're stupid. That's not saying that. It's saying the way that you're thinking right now is dumb. It doesn't make sense. Like, you have to make it make sense. Sometimes not thinking the full thing fully will not make it make sense, you know? But... Nevertheless, I did take my other vitamins this morning and I put them on this shelf. I was just trying to store them all on this little shelf. Ooh, hold up. I was trying to store them all on this little shelf, knowing that I got this big shelf right here. Like what? What? Like what? Oh my goodness. I was just using my tripod and I'm holding it with my finger. And I treated my skin because I saw those like, my pores are looking so... I don't know if it's, like, dehydration or what, but... I got that real... The Real Beauty Skin Exfoliator should be coming today. And that stuff made my skin look like glass. Like, pure, just smooth. I had no bumps at all. So, I'm very excited about that. It should be arriving before 10 p.m. today. And it will be arriving before 10 p.m. today, and I'm so excited about it. I woke up to like hearing a thought about like a worry thought but then logically I was like listening to my worry thought and I was just like it doesn't even make sense that I was worrying about this or that I felt this way because I'm in a completely different situation and things do not stay the same for my life like it just keeps getting better and better and better and better. I was watching a YouTube video this morning about how to make literally millions in a month from YouTube. And it's something that I really want to do. And I'm really interested in it. And I understand like the views that I'm getting on my videos are not that much right now. It's literally like 1,000 views. It goes up to 10,000. The highest I've got is like 13,000 right now. But I'm not going to stop or I'm not going to delete the video or I'm not going to give up. Because I feel like I will be getting those 
300,000 views, 500,000 views, million views, and it's like, from millions of views, there are people literally making over $9,000 from one video. One video. And you're telling me that I can make over $9,000 from one video just by not giving up or deleting it? Leaving it on the internet for people to view? So when it does reach the high amount of views that I desire, I get that directly deposited into my bank account? Like, why would I stop? Why would I stop? It's just so amazing. Like, I felt so much clarity this morning and I felt so, um, kind of like, I feel like the things that I have manifested in the past years are now coming into like play of how it can logically happen for me. And I love that for myself. I was literally texting my son's father's mother. So my, my son's grandma this morning. And I was telling her, I told her literally that I'm not going to be single. And I'm going to find a man, get engaged and get married and get pregnant. And I really believe it. Like I can just see that for myself. I see like success. I see a successful marriage, a successful life, a successful family. And I just see all the good things. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I just had such a shift change in the way that my thoughts were processing. I feel like it had a lot to do with how I was treating my body, though. Because I feel like if I'm not giving my body the nutrients that it needs or like the things that i need to support how i was feeling then it wouldn't that's why i was thinking so cloudy and like extra like years ago i was i used to smoke every single day and i was stressed every single day and i how i would worry every single day and it's like now i don't even smoke if i am with somebody and you know they want to smoke i think i would smoke socially but it's like i don't have a crave or a need to just get up and smoke i don't have a crave or a need to you know wake up every day and drink i don't have a crave or a need to just do things like starve myself like i don't have that like it's literally brain power to be eating to be taking vitamins, to be giving myself caffeine, like literally energy, 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 and energy. Because <laughs> I remember just saying like, I was so tired, I'm so tired, I'm so tired, I'm so tired, I'm so tired. And then I would just sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep. But sometimes just resting and sleeping does not generate the energy needed. It's like, okay, drink some caffeine. Okay, drink something else okay go get some vitamins go get something that will increase the energy levels you know because fatigue is a real thing fatigue is a real thing cold flu symptoms are real things and all those things can be stopped strong immunity is a real thing too and i just feel so good right now but yeah i woke up i took my vitamins i haven't had anything yet for breakfast except um this bloom drink and some dragon fruit fruit passion dragon fruit passionate tea or something like that i think that's what it's called but and some water i had some water so i've drunk like liquids and that's about it i haven't ate anything for all for all yet but i will be eating probably like in an hour or two i do have to reschedule one of my appointments today I'm supposed to be getting some fingerprinting done for this job, but I'll probably have to do it on a Friday, which isn't bad. It's like two days away. It's Wednesday right now, but I thought I was going to be getting a deposit early because they told me I would have to wait two paychecks for it to be early. And now it's like, well, it's Wednesday morning. Where is the money? <laughs> Because instead of Friday, I should be getting it on Wednesday. But it's like, are y'all, like, I keep playing with me, you know? But 
Now I'll just literally wait until Friday because I feel like I won't get it until Friday. But it's not a bad thing. I can certainly, after work, go to the fingerprinting place. Because y'all know I, I work overnight right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. My, um, sir, my bags under my eyes are, like, getting better. I was working out last night in the weight room, and I saw a dramatic change. And that was right after I had, well, not right after, but yesterday I got the, those IV vitamins. And I just felt the difference. And I was seeing the difference in my skin and everything. It made me literally see better. Like, I can see my pores now. And I, I do have some cream on my face. That's why I have, like, these little... These little, it's not my skin, it's like the cream, but it's like I can literally see it. <laughs> I can see my pores. Yeah. But I'm just talking. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's time to wake up. Bucky. Time to wake up. Puppy, you need to wake up. Good morning. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, Sim Babes. Looking at my skin this morning, I literally just arose from the bed. I arose from my sleep. I am now looking at my skin. And I am... Trying to wake my son up verbally without going over there to him. His eyes are cracked. Like this. <laughs> Puppy, it's time to wake up. It's 4.50. It's almost 4.50 in the morning. Our alarm clock went off at 4.30, but I gave us eight more minutes. I hit the snooze button one time. 4.45, I was like already sitting here. I... I'm slowly waking up as well. The more that I sit up though, I feel like I'm waking up faster. Um, today is Thursday. I do need to get him up and he needs to eat breakfast before he leaves for school. My selfie light just turned off. And he needs to... I think it needs to be charged. It's actually dead. We're gonna have a good day today. Um, he's gonna go to school today. My plans for today are to walk him to the bus stop. After I help him get ready and he's, you know, about to get on the bus, um, I'm going to pick up my packages from the package hub. I also am going to work out this morning for about 15 to 20 minutes in the weight room. I do need to... Go ahead and put some eye drops in my eye because it feels like I have something in my eyeball. 
I do, um, know that today's going to be a good day. I'm getting in the morning vibe. Without rushing him, I'm going to give him some of that energy drink over there that he likes. I don't know what he's going to want for breakfast. But I'm assuming he's going to say ice cream. Yesterday he said ice cream. Yesterday he had ice cream. And I wasn't tripping about it because I knew he was going to eat throughout the day. We will be taking a snack to lunch. To, I mean to school today. I did remember that. And... What else? Well, that's what I remember as of right now. So I'm gonna get him up. I'm gonna go wake him up, walk over there to his bed, talk to him until he opens his eyeballs, and then he looks at me. I'm hoping that he wakes up pretty quickly today so he'll have more time to be awake before he has to go to the bus stop. And I think he is going to, so it should be a good morning. We should not have any screaming, any yelling, any arguing, any raising of the voices. Unless we're singing, Bobby, wake up. Bobby, it's time to wake up. That will be all the raising of the voices that we will be doing today. Okay. Oh, snap. I was going to lift this thing up, but I just realized it's still on the charger, so hold on. Ooh. I guess that's an okay angle. You see this blue towel is because it's by the towel rack thing so I'm gonna be working out this morning the outfit will be leggings this sports bra I got on and a sweatshirt I'm thinking about wearing my waist trainer so I did wash it and it's clean and if I wear my waist trainer I'm not gonna want to eat before I wear it because it's I don't want it to be too tight. But also, I do want to make sure I get this restroom clean today. So I think what I'm gonna do is just spray around right now. Like around the toilet and in the shower. And then when I come back before I get in the shower, that's when I'll go in with a different spray, the Kaboom spray, and make sure I get everything on that. So this is just the Lysol with Hydro Gen and Peroxide multi-purpose liner. I'm using it for the restaurant. Right now,
some of the area is sprayed. I'm gonna leave the sink sprayed, but <coughs> It's gonna get sprayed right this minute. I do have my head scarf on. Probably gonna leave it on. <coughs> I need to put my clothes on. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's Thursday. It's a good Thursday. That spray. Got all of in my nostrils. Blow my nose right now. <laughs> Blow my nose right now. Go with the waist trim trainer. This waist trainer is like a really good one. It is a size medium because the large waist trainer that I have is too big. It's amazing that I used to be that big and then I got this small on my waist. I don't know how much I weighed when I had a large waist, but whatever it was, I don't know if it was more than 166. It's probably at like 164 right now or something. It feels a little bit lighter than 166. And yes, I can honestly say <laughs> I didn't feel that, I guess. Okay. Ponytail. The scrunchy that is. Xavier uh -oh. is up. He's awake eating ice cream. Dad is also like, I saw him when I was in the kitchen. Okay, now I'll put my sweatshirt on. This is what the waist is looking like before the sweatshirt goes on. Let me just share with y'all so y'all can see what I'm talking about. See? Snatches it. 
Oh, I need some of that bloating, which is great. Working out, moving my body. Eliminates the bloating as well. And for the the thing that I drink, which is the bloom drink, mixed with my perfect peach. It's a great combination, so it just works. I think I'm gonna put my scarf on to hold my hair back because I don't want it going everywhere while I'm trying to work out. <clears throat> But before I work out, I do need to go to the package that I'm So it's like I already have my destinations all planned in my head. I'm gonna be leaving the apartment 620. Walking to the front of the office, waiting for Xavier to get on the bus. 682 his bus arrives and that's when I walk to the package hub. After the package hub, I walk to the weight room and I work out for 20 minutes. After the weight room, I come back to the apartment. I do wine for my workout and I Basically, just wind down, you know, sit down, drink some water or whatever. The balloon, maybe some Gatorade, because I did buy Gatorade the other day. And then that's when I'll take my shower, brush my teeth, wash my face, clean up the restroom. I do have some laundry I need to put in the washing machine, so I think I'm going to do that right now, actually. Be already right. Scarf on, coat on, because it's cold outside. And I need to take the, I was about to go in the laundry room or whatever. But I don't really need to right now. I need to wait till that's done. <sighs> I'm dressed and I'm ready. And I'm really just waiting on my son and the time because we don't want to walk out there and just be sit standing out there. It's cold this morning, so I got me a, hood, a jacket on. Let me show y'all what I'm working with. <laughs> oh, do not play. Do not fall. Okay. So, of course I got this one on. Um, and this is long trench coat, it's pink, it looks cute. I've seen this on my page before. And yes. It's going to keep me warm when I go outside. gonna be a good good thing I decided not too long ago that since I've been doing weightlifting for like every other day for almost a month now I think that I'm gonna include a little bit of walking now in it too because I feel like that's gonna help me for sure so I'm gonna be walking for 20 minutes this morning and that's gonna be my workout for today I'm not gonna overdo it I'm not gonna try to go intense I'm literally gonna be walking for 20 minutes tomorrow will be a rest day for my workout after the rest day I get back on the weights so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna alternate from walking rest weights walking rest weights walking rest weights walking rest weights you know i'm gonna keep it in a good balanced schedule so i can make sure that i can get it done 
this tripod is good it really is good it's just that sometimes my phone i guess it gets too heavy for it and i'd be trying to figure out like the correct angles and things that i can't do with it but it's not the only tripod that i'm gonna end up getting of course y'all know with this youtube career that i'm on right now this path that I will be changing up the stuff for my equipment, depending on the video, depending on if I'm getting paid for the video, like sponsorship wise, because I already know what is needed, like more tech, te technology is needed. So I will be getting that when I am able to. And I think I'm gonna be able to very soon because I feel a new job, another new job coming. This one is over 30 an hour, so it's something that I appreciate and I'm gonna love and that I've been waiting for. The thing about this technology world, since I've entered IT, it's been like cool. It's been cool. It's about to be a year in the IT career. I did. Yeah. But I've been over, I have over three years of technology experience. So it's like a collective amount. And um, I got my sneakers on today. <laughs> Hey. They're giving comfort today, which is good. I don't know why I was feeling like they was giving me pain before, but they're not painful at all anymore. I think I just had to break them in. You know, sometimes I, you have to break in shoes to get them to that comfort level. And not a comfort at all. Loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. So yeah, I'm kind of like happy that I thought about including the walking into my workouts because all the lifting and stuff, like my muscles don't need to be rushed to grow because they're growing like those glutes are popping, okay? And I'm already using other things to help the growth process as well. So it's like, I definitely have the stimulation going on for my glutes and my legs and my core. And I can tell the difference. I can see the difference. And a month difference is very noticeable to me just because I kind of like look at my body every day. And if it's something that I've been doing for a while, I just keep it up. Um, so in six months, I feel like it's going to be an extreme difference. And I'm going to be like, <laughs> it looks so good. I look so good. It's going to be nice. Nice, nice, nice. But I'm going to stop recording right now and I'll pick up the camera a little bit later. In the weight room now, I got my packages. And now I'm just gonna be on the treadmill for the next 20 minutes. Ugh. I have to take off my, my trench coat. Got my waist trim on. Let's get it going. I don't think I'm gonna do an incline today, but I am gonna do an increase of speed. I like to do the time elapsed. Incline is gonna be zero for today. And the speed, I think one point, no, let's do two. Two is good. So yeah. I am walking. Oh my goodness. 
I haven't walked in a long time. I've been doing weights, but like I said, almost a month now because the month is gonna be over. I think today, because I think Friday is the first, so. While I'm talking, I'm gonna check. Let me check. All right. Tomorrow is the first. Today is the last day of February. For February, I did accomplish a lot of my goals. Voila. Y'all see the screenshot. And now for the goals that I didn't accomplish or that I didn't get to do, I will include those into March's goals. So that way they're not forgotten. And I will just continue to do that. Oh my God. As I was putting on my shoe, I made a little crack in my nail. So I don't think it's too bad. But if it does crack more, I don't think that it will actually. It's not going to crack more. But good thing the nail salon and that nail tech is literally right there at the other, at the nail salon. And when I say right there, I'm not the meaning literal. But she is in walking distance. But... It actually still looks pretty sturdy. It doesn't look like that is a deep crack at all. Nah, that doesn't look broke. It's not broken, actually. I don't know if y'all can see a little line. So it's not broken. But I did have to put my shoes on, so... I had to do what I had to do to get my foot in there. <laughs> So far, it's only been three minutes. And yeah, it's been a good three minutes. Walking like this helps with my stomach to go down because there's like a lot of gas that is about to be released <laughs> from my stomach as I continue this. And it's good for the heart, you know, walking is great for heart health, great for overall body health. I'm, be I'm being very healthy right now. I do want to listen to some music though, so I'm going to go ahead and talk to y'all on the vlog at a different time. Nail crack. I can't even really see it, but it's right here. Not a crack, but it's like a line. Alright, I done got... 20 minutes in. I stay consistent with it. And just like that, the workout for this morning is done. And since it's more consistent now, I don't try to overwork out. And I haven't seen results. I ain't gonna lie to you. Maybe since I'm not moving, y'all can see y'all can't even see that little crack no more. It's gone. Well, I can still see it, but I ain't worried about it. I am going to go ahead and put my coat back on so I can go home. I'm gonna go to the shower as soon as I walk in. Or the restroom, I should say. Actually, I think I'm going to open my package first because I do have some products in here that I'm going to be using for my shower or after the shower. I'll do an unboxing and a package haul. A two package haul. I get back to the apartment it's now brighter outside the sun is up it's morning you know people waking up people clocking in people at work people around the world doing what they want to do i'm doing what i want to do 
And what I chose to do this morning was work out and get my packages and help my son get ready for school. And now I'm gonna tend to myself. I'm about to be at the apartment and I'm gonna eat some food. I think that's what I'm gonna do first. I think I'm gonna eat food first, eat some breakfast. And then I'm going to go ahead and open my packages. And then I'm gonna wash my face, brush my teeth, mouthwash, rinse my mouth, clean my tongue, take a shower, exfoliate my skin gently wash my skin get out the shower <laughs> lotion my skin and I do have some scar removal oil serum that I've been putting on my body and it's been removing my stretch marks which I love so I feel like whenever I have a for sure boyfriend that wants to be you know with me and engaged with me and get married to me but has to initiate it because I ain't finna ask no man to marry me now. I am not that girl. <laughs> and once I have, you know, a preg if I have, when I have another pregnancy, it's not if, because I know it's gonna happen. I just don't know when. But I do know when. But it's like, it's like a woman intuition thing. That's all I can really say. And when it happens, I'm gonna be prepared because I know the good products now. <laughs> That's what I love. I love that, you know, new products have came out, new products have been invented and put in stores and on Amazon and all this other stuff. And I've researched and I've looked and I've bought and I've purchased and I realized what products work for me. And what products give me results fast and I love fast results it's what I love it's what I adore <laughs> now I am gonna always adore it and always love fast results because I'm quick with the quickness to get what I want to see what I want and I feel like I push along pretty well. My fingers is getting cold though, so I'm going to stop recording right now so I can put my hand in my pocket.
Okay, I'm muffins. And some more bloom for the bloat. And some cran raspberry juice. Chocolate croissants with the with the strawberry and the I think it's the peach oatmeal or banana oatmeal. Getting to it. It's delicious. I'm getting to it. Y'all like my fancy box cutter? <laughs> my key oh. uh. excuse me one thing in this box and in this box this is the GG slow grow with argan oil hair minimizer it's a hair inhibitor it minimizes the appearances of new hair growth Eliminates the new hair growth on where I put the cream. It also has argan oil in it, so it deeply moisturizes and protects the skin. So basically, I'm going to be putting this in places that I don't want hair. Like under my arms, on my legs, bikini area, and on my face, and on my arms and my knuckles and my toes <laughs> and my back <laughs> you know a lot of places a lot of places I've used a hair inhibitor before and this is gonna be my first time working with this brand so I'm gonna see how it works <laughs> I think it's gonna work pretty good so I got some new face brushes and they're supposed to increase the collagen in my face when I'm cleaning my face um, they're mini so they're the little and they're citrus infused and it's like a little scrub and a brush it says to replace it every one to three months and I have two so that's good this is what it looks like it is the eco tools and this is the other one I also got the real beauty clarifying toner if y'all know I've spoken about this months ago and it just works so great for my skin. Like literally it, it gives me life because it makes my skin look so smooth and my pores look non-existent. Like it's just one big, just smoothness situation like all over my face. I also got the barrier cream. Um, and this is ideal for acne prone skin. I feel like it was also the cream at the end that made a huge difference because it's a barrier between everything touching my face so it's not gonna affect it. This is the exfoliating cleanser as well. This did come in like a set or like a group or like recommended to buy all of it 
and I would recommend y'all to get all of it as well because it's just that good I can truly vouch for that this is not even sponsored um, but I'm pretty sure in the future since I do love it so much they will pay me $500 for the sponsorship I will get paid $500 for this first sponsorship and then about a thousand for the next one because that's just how good i am and that's how good it is and then when you put two good things together it makes a great thing an iconic thing now i'm about to get in the shower i don't know why i just lied like that because i need to clean the restroom first i sprayed and everything and now the cleaning begins and I forgot about it, so I just lied. So like I spoke too soon. I lied on accident or purpose, whatever. But and now then I had to figure out what's really happening. <laughs> I'm gonna put my son's hair dye up here. And eventually he'll be ready to get his hair dyed. That is something that he wants to do and I'm all for it. I'm supporting him and his de de decision. <laughs> and his hair dye decision. And I even will help him. It's something that he wants to do. Pulling back in with the lights on. I'm working on this counter first. Because this counter needs to be clean. I said something about the boom spray. There it is. With the kaboom spray though, I have to wait till it turns white. Oh, it's already turning white. Okay. Scrub Daddy to do this. need to get a rag probably should leave some rags under here
try and get all the hair out because there's hair in the sink. I'm trying to get the hair out of the sink. Oh. It's like when I get it out and then I stop. How's that? <laughs> Wait, what? I don't know what it was. Hold on. Okay, that's what it was. There's like this black dry glue from when I did my clippers. This is just sitting here and I'm trying to pick it up. But it will not come up. Oh my god. There we go. I got the glue out. Okay. Now, see? It's like I walk away and another hair pops back up. Okay. Hair is gone now. So it's very simple and easy. First, the soap on the other side. This is my mouthwash that I use. This is Xavier's mouthwash that has been sitting here. And he uses it too. I put my tape, toilet paper right there. Just because simply to put it in simplest terms, um, I did not replace the thing. I never bought the thing to replace it with. Mirror is cleaned. Now it's time to do some deep cleaning of the toilet. I'm going to go in with the Lysol cleanser and I did spray it, but I'm also going to do some cologne spray in it, on it. And I do have a brush in here that I use for it.
seriously gonna need to use this rag on me for the toilet. I don't know if this rag was my buddy. But we don't really use rags for our body anymore, so actually I don't have to worry about it. the corners I guess it's like the side technically
Now it is time to do the floor. Put this up so it's not on the floor. It's a little drop of this as well. Because I don't have the Swiffer replacement thing. So just a little drop of this. This seems pretty much empty. It was a struggle, so no, just wet. one lighter. shower. I didn't even feel this toilet paper though, so I'm gonna do that right now. So this one is for the sink area. I've already done the sink area, but I have another scrub daddy in the shower. So I'm gonna just do the shower one. <laughs> I'm gonna just use the shower.
So back, but it's clean. The floor is now clean. Shower. I think that these freaking marker drawing things and all this extra shit, like some glue or something. Shower's clean. I don't know why it's her. I don't know why it's there. But I just remember waking up and it appeared. Now I'm about to go put this back under the kitchen sink. I really had a productive morning. That's really what it's been. The dryer is done. I'm not taking the clothes out of the dryer yet though. Only because I'm waiting for the washer to be done so I can do like a double, uh, two in one. Like take the clothes out the washer, then put them in the dryer. And the clothes in the dryer need a few minutes to sit before I just start grabbing them. <laughs> now I'm about to get in the shower because I've been up for, wait, what time is it? I've been up for at least five hours already. Let me see what time it is. <clears throat> so four hours. A little bit, almost four hours. Yeah, almost four hours. I've had a productive morning. But I think this is where the vlog for this morning is going to end. I might pick up the camera up later. You know what? I'm for sure I'm going to pick up the camera. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I'm going to pick the camera up. But... The way my phone storage is working is I don't have my iPhone with the one terabyte right now. When I get it, you will see longer vlogs. But right now, I can only export a certain amount before I have to start deleting all my apps. And I ain't trying to delete all my apps. I can't. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to get in <laughs> Thank you. 
A little bit of my brightening wash. I can feel the difference. I'm gonna do the toner when I get out the shower.
this tripod just made it so easy to just flip that thing and turn it. All right, so now I am out the shower. I'm gonna kind of do this toner on my face. Let me fix this real quick. Okay, so now that I have two toners, I'm gonna use both of them, of course, but this is the one that I've been waiting for all my life. <laughs> no, for real, this is the toner I've been waiting for because it cleared up my face so good. And I feel like I'm not like acne prone, but at the same time, when I look at my face sometimes, I notice that my pores are big. Like, I don't get bad acne, I just get huge pores. Oh my god, another seal. Hold on. There we go. I'm gonna have to break this one too because I'm trying to take the seal off, but it's not working. Let's break it. There we go. Gotta make sure my tap a ball is not going to. Okay, so now I got the toner and then the other toner. Just mix them both in like this, and then I, I'm gonna fan dry my face and let that toner like absorb all throughout my skin. Let me get my fan. It's already looking like it's minimizing the pores, like it's already keeping what needs to be gay. Oh my god, it's amazing. Okay. And now the good part, the barrier cream. Oh my goodness, but I also have the glow, the slow grow minimizer. I think I'm going to put the barrier cream on first and then once that's absorbed, go in with the slow glow. Okay, so this has a seal, but this seal is easy to take off. Oh, doesn't it look so delicious? Not like delicious like you would eat the cream, but it's like deliciously made. If that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but I don't know, like getting into face products that makes sense for me. Because like it just looks so good. Like not like an edible good, but like a oh my god. Fraction. Fraction. After this clip, I'm certainly gonna have to edit this video because I already know my phone's gonna be on some storage, 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 blah blah blah. <laughs> na, 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 na. So I need to get right, get right with these videos. This one ain't got no seal, so I can just pull it in if you need me. It looks like a gel gel the light gel consistency oh it smells like argan oil too but i'm really just putting it everywhere i don't want like extra growth hair growth oh my god my towel is falling i have like i put it on my face under my arms, on my arms, on my stomach. 
my neck, bikini area, and legs. Now it's absorbing into my skin, and I'm about to put on my Decker Dennis Snicker Booty Building Bestie Cream. With this, I use two pumps for both cheeks. That's what it looks like. And I just rub it on the glutes and in the hip area too because that's really where I need it to be like plumped up. And a little secret is I also took another pump and put it on the top of my breast so they can get pumped too at the top because I'm not saggy titty gang. <laughs> I am not. I am not. And I'm gonna rub the rest of this in. And then I'm going to spray my deep part of it. I'm using the Wild Rose of Argan Oil, and it smells really good. Really, really good. It leaves like a, it's like a sweet smell. Then I use the Summer Eve Active Daily Performance Spray for my bikini area down there. And shower cap is now off. And I need to put clothes on, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I lied earlier, obviously, because I kept filming. If this video, I think it is going to make it into the other video. So I'm going to now officially close out the video. I'm going to edit it and post it to my YouTube channel. Oh, before I do, in this video, I want to let y'all know that I am so thankful. Thank you so much for the, I think I'm at 15K now. I saw the 10K notification and then I checked my analytics and it was at 14K, something over 14K. I woke up and now it's over 15K. So I will be doing like a photo shoot soon with like the number and the balloon and stuff. I just don't know what number to do it at because <laughs> It keeps going up so I'm thinking maybe I should take a photo shoot of like a number of my goal and then when I get to that goal then I'll post the picture I think that would be the most best thing to do I do need to put some hair growth oil in my hair some hair growth sheen and this is the longest closeout video I mean clip but hey Sometimes you just gotta, you know, do what you gotta do. Look at my hair, oh my God. Let me put some oil on my hair. I done oiled up my body, I might as well. Put some oil and some styling cream, I might as well. You know, oil and some styling cream. I probably need to straighten my hair soon. So I'm gonna put in the heat serum. So when I am gonna straighten it, it will be ready. It will be ready for me. Oh my god, I feel like I also need to put some head cream on because what is happening to my hair? Let me brush this out. First, Ooh. okay, maybe not the edge control right now. I don't want it too hard on my edges. 
put this sheen, oil sheen wax on this strobe light. And then I'm gonna wrap my edges up. I can just like feel my forehead shrinking and it's a cool feeling. It's a wonderful feeling. It's like literally. <laughs> it's literally. Oh my god. Just knotted up some hair. Let me not do that. There we go. Oh my gosh. Hold up. Cause I just literally knotted it up or something. I was trying not to do that. So let me clip it up. So I don't do that when I'm trying to put the wrap on. Um, here we go. Tighten it like this. it even more when I have to like do the the um quick way forward because I feel like the first time it was like eh it was like eh but I feel like the second time I'm gonna be like oh yeah I already know what I'm doing so it's gonna make it look a lot better I think the second time I'm actually gonna get it braided tighter that way I can fit all three bundles in there because I can't braid that tight with my nails on right here. But I'm not going to take my nails off. I'm just going to keep my nails and go get my hair professionally braided. I feel like that's the smartest thing to do. Okay, now I'm for real going to close up the video. <laughs> I was talking and getting to it. I had to take my time. So, thank y'all for watching, stay tuned, subscribe, watch more videos before I drop the next one. Don't just stay watching the, the new one, go look at the throwbacks, you know, keep them up. Keep the videos on autoplay is what I really mean to say. Bye.